Hello, let's get started on the worksheet. Five U.S. regions. There are 50 states in the United States of America. The U.S. is divided into five regions, West, Midwest, Southwest, Northeast, and Southeast. Read the directions. Draw a line to the region where each state is located. Look at the first row. This is the state of Texas. Is Texas located in the Midwest region or the Southwest region? Correct. Texas is part of the Southwest region. Nice work. In the second row, we see the state of Florida. Which region does Florida belong to? Southeast or Northeast? You're right. Florida is located in the Southeast region. Great job. Next, look at Montana. In which region can you find the state of Montana? The West region. Good answer. Now let's find Maine. Where is it? Yes, Maine is in the Northeast region. Congratulations, you've completed the worksheet. Awesome work. Goodbye. Hello, let's get started on the worksheet. Cities and states, matching. There are 50 states in the United States of America. These states are divided into cities. It is easy to find a city when you know which state it is located in. Read the directions. Check the state where each city is located. Look at the first city. The name of this city is Dallas. Cowboy hats are popular in Dallas. Where is Dallas located? Yes, Dallas is a city in the state of Texas. Nice work. The next city is Los Angeles. Los Angeles is known for its sunny weather and beaches. Where can you find Los Angeles? That's right. Los Angeles is in the state of California. Great job. Now let's find New York City. You can see the Statue of Liberty when you visit New York City. Where is New York City located? In the state of New York, of course. Good choice. The last city is St. Louis. The Gateway Arch is a famous landmark in St. Louis. In which state would you find St. Louis? Missouri. That's correct. Congratulations. You've completed the worksheet. Awesome work. Let's review. The first city is Dallas. It is located in the state of Texas. Cowboy hats are popular in Dallas. This is Los Angeles. It's in the state of California. Los Angeles is known for its sunny weather and beaches. You can see the Statue of Liberty when you visit New York City. This city is located in the state of New York. The last city is St. Louis. You would find it in the state of Missouri. The Gateway Arch is a famous landmark in St. Louis. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hello, boys and girls. Today, we are going to talk about Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is the capital of the United States of America. I am so excited that we are flying there today. Me too. Let's go.
Washington, D.C. is the city where each U.S. president lives and works. That's why you can see the presidents even at the airport. Well, not in person, of course, but their portraits and statuettes. Washington, D.C. is home to the U.S. government. Many important laws and decisions are made here. Look, it's the National Mall. It is a large park with plenty of landmarks along its length. The city was named after George Washington, the first president of the United States. George Washington was one of the founders of the American government. The Washington Monument was built in his honor. Wow, it's so tall. Yes, let's go inside. If we go upstairs, we can see the whole city. You can see more important places from here too. There's the White House. American presidents live and work there. And this is the U.S. Capitol Building. Congress leaders meet there to make important decisions about our country. To the south and west of the Washington Monument, there are two more memorials of famous American presidents, Thomas Jefferson and Abraham Lincoln. Oh, tell me about them. Thomas Jefferson was one of the authors of the Declaration of Independence. The day it was adopted, the 4th of July, became one of the most important holidays in America. We call it Independence Day. And what about Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States. He signed the Emancipation Proclamation so that all Americans could be free from slavery. What else can we find in Washington, D.C.? Lots more, like the Pentagon Building, where the U.S. Department of Defense works. They work hard to keep our country safe. I love the shape of the Pentagon Building. Where should we go now to have some fun? We can go to the National Zoo, see animals and birds from around the world or we can visit the National Museum of Natural History to see prehistoric animals like dinosaurs and saber-toothed tigers. We could even visit the National Air and Space Museum to see airplanes, rockets, and spaceships that reach the moon. much fun. Washington, D.C. is a very interesting city. We have visited lots of places, but there is still so much to see. We will definitely come back again. What did you like best in Washington, D.C.? What landmarks would you like to see? Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hello, let's get started on the lesson. Parks are an important part of the community. They are homes for many trees and animals. People like to visit community parks to relax, play, or have a picnic. A national park is much bigger than a community park. It has many natural wonders for people to see.
people from all over the world come to visit national parks. Yellowstone is the world's first national park The park is large. It's located in three different states at once, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. Yellowstone National Park is known for its geysers and hot springs, or fountains of hot water and steam. The Grand Canyon is a famous national park in Arizona. When rivers flow for a long time, they make a canyon or a deep narrow ditch in the land below. The Colorado River caused the Grand Canyon to form. Scientists believe that it took two billion years for this to happen. Biscayne National Park in Florida is not like an ordinary park. It's mostly made of ocean water. People love to see the colorful fish and beautiful reefs. A reef is an area of rocks and sand under the sea. Which national park would you like to visit? Yellowstone? The Grand Canyon? Or Biscayne? Think about it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.